Hey, what's up, guys? My name is John. Welcome to Daily Theology. I wanted to play this clip because Donald Trump's tax returns are front and center for many people because of a New York Times article. Now, whether or not he's playing by the rules and paying taxes, who knows? That's not the point of this video. But what I want to highlight is this reporter, Poppy Harlow's response to Brian Morgenstern. Morgenstern? Uh, you can watch how heated she gets when he begins to question her authority, and her narrative. Now, as a press representative, uh, you are not the ultimate standard of truth, and so if somebody does not like the line of questioning that you're presenting or does not uh, agree with the direction you're headed, watch how she responds to him. See what we can learn from this. But he doesn't even have to. That's a million and a half dollars in taxes. He didn't even have to pay. But th so, this is a talking about was, donating his uh, salary, of Trump. From four years ago, it's on the not. eve of a debate, coordinated with the yeah. Democrats as a political Let's, hit. Okay, that's Brian. I'm just going to stop you there. I'm going to stop. These yeah. are okay. remarkable reporters from the New York Times who went through 20 years of documents. It is not okay for you to accuse them with no facts of coordinating with the Democratic Party. Copy that. Please they stop doing that for this running. interview. So, so before she gets to the, the elbow drop, she says, well, if you keep doing that, the interview is over. Uh, and essentially that they went through 20 years of data, et cetera. Now, whether they did or not, his point is they aren't releasing the report that they're basing this accusation on. So there's no real evidence of what they're claiming. And that's what he's trying to say is this was a smear campaign. They had ads up and running right after they released this report, which has been largely debunked. And the reason this is important is if all you're getting is information from people like Poppy Harlow or even the White House, you need to examine your foundation of truth. Now, the ultimate standard of truth is Jesus Christ. He is the source of truth. Truth is always based on a personal standard. People in our culture do not understand that truth is based on a standard of right and wrong. God is always right. Man is usually wrong. Whether or not you agree with Trump's business dealings and tax returns, he's demonstrated that he has not necessarily been above board in all circumstances. But watch how she reacts. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. You will they end. Brian, She's going to end the interview. Stop attacking the press. Stop attacking the press. I've seen you do that largely before. Stop doing that. I'm asking you direct questions. You can put the entire thing to bed. But the whole pre premise of this interview is a false narrative. That's what he's saying. It's a narrative that has not been substantiated and that there is an ulterior uh, motive or story here. And she does not even want to deal with that. He also brings up Hunter Biden, which causes her to go into a fury of him changing the subject and, and uh, not dealing with the facts. But uh, Biden is running for president, right? So it, it, they just, she doesn't want to have a discussion about facts or truth. And if the president would release the records and show the American people what he says is true, why will he Poppy, not do that? So the press can attack him, but he can't defend himself. That is just not a fair position. The to president take. is welcome to come on this show and defend himself. She's so I heated. Hope he joins us. The easiest defense would be for him to lay out his records, as every modern president has done since the 1970s. Or like Obama, who didn't produce a birth certificate. He had a certificate of live birth. I mean, it's an arbitrary standard. So thanks for watching. God bless. And ultimate truth is found in the Word of God. So if you reject that, if you reject the reign of Christ, if you have not been born again, you have no basis to call something evil or good. You have no basis for lying and why that's wrong. You have no basis for morality. You, the reason you know that it's wrong to lie is because God has given you a conscience, and when you lie, you violate that God-given conscience. So repent, put all of your trust in Christ if you have not, and please remember to hammer that like button like the 95 Theses. God bless.